Hi, thanks for joining me. My name's Ryan Waite, and today I want to touch on motivation. In fact, I wrote an article just last week around where motivation comes from, and I want to follow that article up with a short video. So where does motivation come from? Does it come from loud music, incentives, inspiring stories? Yes, sure, fleetingly it comes from those things, but sustainable and long-lasting motivation will only come from dissatisfaction. I'll give an example. Last night at 2am, how much motivation did you have to get up out of bed and run outside? I'm guessing little to none. If you were comfy, you were cosy, you were content. Now, touch wood, hopefully this doesn't happen, but tonight if your house were to catch fire at 2am, how much motivation then do you have to get up out of bed and run outside? I'm guessing a hell of a lot. Why? Because you're not only comfortable nor satisfied with your current environment or circumstance. You want to go to a place that's improved. So that's where motivation comes from. It comes from dissatisfaction. That's why setting goals is so important because what setting goals does is gets us uncomfortable and that's where we find that motivation. Now, the second part of this conversation is really important. We must avoid softeners along the way. Now, what are softeners? Softeners are those little stories and justifications we tell ourselves that keep ourselves comfortable. I'm only young. I'll do it next year. I'll do it next week. Look, Joe didn't work that hard, so I don't have to work that hard. Anytime we tell ourselves a story that's untrue but keeps ourselves comfortable are the number one destroyers of our motivation levels, and they're our softeners. The second part of that is the people we spend the most time with. If the people we spend the most time with have got lower standards than us, they are also softeners because we can always find comfort in our lack of action, in their lack of action. So there's three parts of this conversation around finding motivation and where it comes from. First, get uncomfortable. Get dissatisfied with an area or areas of your life. It might be your health, finances, fitness, diet, whatever it might be. Get uncomfortable in an area you want to improve. Set a goal around it for its improvement. Okay, avoid the softeners along the way. If you can tick off those three things, I guarantee you'll be on your way to finding more motivation on a daily basis. Remember, keep moving forward. Until next time, thank you.